Hello 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 everyone. In this video we are going to learn how to configure Amazon Alexa with our Hisense TV and in that way be able to control it through voice commands. Once we are in the main menu of our television smart TV, to begin the pairing we will have to go to the top bar of the smart TV. In this bar we will find icons such as search, settings, or notifications. But the one that interests us in this case is the one we have on the far right, the one you see that has a microphone drawn with three lines. Once you locate the icon, if you click on it we will access the assistant selection. If, for example, this icon does not appear in your case, you can also access it from settings. If we go to the settings we'll, press, go down to the system section and within system you access where it indicates voice service. From here you can access the same menu that we have seen before. In either case, once you get to this menu, you go over Amazon Alexa, click to the right and click on where it says Configure Alexa. At this time we are offered two different ways to link our TV with our Amazon Alexa account. The first, which is the one on the left, works through the QR code. What we will have to do here is take our mobile phone, the one we have previously linked to Alexa, that is, the one with which we normally use the Amazon Alexa application, open the camera and focus on the QR code. And on the other hand, if we do not want to use the phone's camera, we can also do it with the option that appears on the right, in which we have to enter that web page and once we enter, write the code that you are seeing on the screen, but hey, let it appear on your screen, not this one. In this case, to be simpler and faster, I am going to do the QR code method, so we pick up the phone, focus on the QR and click on the web page that appears. As you can see, we will have to log into our Amazon account with our credentials and once we have entered them, as you can see, the same code that appears on television appears. We are going to let you continue. Now, as you can see, it appears to us that Vita Voice TV wants to access our Alexa services. We are going to click allow and as you can see, it tells us that the registration has been completed and on the television the screen we had before has already changed. Now, what television does require us to do is have a Vita operating system account. So if you already have it, you have done it with the initial configuration of the TV, you set the account and if not, then you create a new account. Once we created the account in the Vita operating system, the next screen, once the session has started, is the one you see here, which tells us that Alexa is completely ready to be used with the TV. Once you have the voice assistant fully configured, we will have up to three different ways to access Alexa services. You have the first two fully assured, since one of them is by pressing the microphone button on the remote control. Alexa, tell me a joke. What is a ghost doing in a laundry? To look handsome. As you see, this is the festival of humor. The second way will be through the mobile phone, which if you have done the configuration means that you have it installed and working. And finally, the third way, which I find most comfortable, is to have an Alexa Echo speaker. Since in this case you can completely ignore both the remote control and the mobile phone to use the television using the commands. Now, once we have seen the configuration, we are going to try to give some basic commands to the TV to see how far the Alexa theme can go with the TV commands. Alexa turns off the television. Okay. Well as you can see he turned off the television without any problem. I have named it television so that I can recognize perfectly what it is, because it was called Hisense Vita TV Smart, change it, give it a simple name. I have named it television. Once you turn off the television, an important step is to know if you turn it on. Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. Perfect, as you can see it turned it on without any major problem. It wasn't instantaneous, but hey, it's normal, you have to power the TV. But even so, with the television in standby, a little bit of energy is saved to be able to listen to Alexa and turn on. So on that side, perfect. Now, what we are going to do is try to open some applications, to see if Alexa is able to do it. Alexa, open Netflix on the television. Okay, in this case it hasn't done anything. Alexa, 
open Prime Video on the television. No reaction either. Alexa, open Disney Plus on the television. Okay, well, what are apps it seems that it is not able to open them. I do not really know the reason, but it seems that it is not compatible with the opening and closing of applications. Yes, as you can see, it has turned on and off the TV, but the applications do not react. Let's try, for example, the volume. Alexa, turn the TV volume to 20. Okay. As you can see, it can do that, move the volume. And now as a last test I can think, for example, try to switch between the different input sources. Alexa, open the HDMI 3 on the television. Okay. Well as you can see it does that too, it changes between the different input sources. So as a brief summary, we will be able to turn the television on and off directly with our voice, we will be able to raise and lower the volume of the TV, we will be able to move between the different input sources, we will be able to ask Alexa for things like tell us a joke or any nonsense, but what has left us a little hanging is the issue of opening applications, which I have not been able to do. Well guys, here comes today's video, as always I hope I have helped you, if so do not forget to leave me a good like, which is super important, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell to not miss anything. I for my part, nothing more, as always, a pleasure and until the next video.